Timestamps are in the description below. If you decide to click on one, it will take you to the news article of your choice. Hello everyone, Stephen Clark here and friends, back with another news from all over Thailand and Southeast Asia. So what have we got today? All passengers rescued after a cruise incident off Koh Phi Phi, Thailand. Chiang Mai to control vehicle exhaust emissions. China's 184 million US dollars deal to buy goods from Laos. Myanmar's dealing with TB or tuberculosis if you like. Food Panda launches in Laos with over 300 restaurants to open. But first up a happy story. A Thai grandmother and her musical magic. She will charm the socks off you. A Thai grandmother singing soothing ballads to her chihuahua. Chu Cham has become a sensation on Facebook. The grandmother's name is Melinda Herman and her singing at her age is very, very good. Let's have a listen. That's uh, Chu Cham and Melinda singing along like little rippers and not forgetting the cat doing the harmonies. Melinda was involved in a car accident which left the left side of her face paralysed. Melinda says the singing has increased her movement in her face by 75%, which is great news for Melinda. She has also managed to gather 650,000 subscribers and hundreds of video clips on her Facebook. Thai grandmother goes by the name or username of Lady with a Dog. Linda Herman. She has a Facebook as well. Maybe go and check her out. And also a YouTube channel. I think everybody wishes Melinda a speedy recovery. Not bad, is it? Singing your way to a recovery. It's great to report on stories like this. It really makes it worthwhile. Off the coast of Krabi, there's an island called Pee Pee Island. And off Pee Pee Island is a submerged reef called Bida Nook. It's about three nautical miles off Koh Pee Pee Island. At about 10 a.m. on November the 25th, a passenger ship, La Belle des Ocean, decided to crash into the reef. There were 150 passengers on board and the cruise was on its way from Koh Lanta heading back to Phuket at the time of the collision. The vessel hit the rocks early in the morning around 3 a.m. apparently. The cruise boat sprung a leak from the impact. Immediately after the collision, the captain contacted the Royal Thai Navy Area 3. The Navy sent out a boat to help drag the ship away from the reef. A nearby boat saw the vessel stuck on the rocks and offered assistance, but the captain informed them that the Navy was on its way. The hull of the ship around the front was breached by the impact. 
but managed to limp its way back into the deep sea port in Phuket. Escorted, of course, by the Royal Thai Navy. La Bella di Ocean is 100 meters long, and its usual route is Phuket, Krabi, and Longkawi. Bit of good news from Chiang Mai and the Chiang Mai pollution situation. Chiang Mai to control vehicle exhaust emissions. Officials in Chiang Mai will begin carrying out random checks on public transport vehicle exhausts in a bid to reduce black smoke emission and help to redress the city's pollution level. I have been to Chiang Mai many times and seen this pollution. I was in the center of the city. The black smoke coming out of these exhaust pipes was incredible. It's understood the measure being put in place following complaints from public about pollution from some vehicles. In particular, those transporting passengers up Doi Setep National Park. To prevent traffic problems, big buses are not permitted to make the journey up Doi Setep with smaller trucks modified to carry passengers instead. But complaints about the black smoke being spewed out by some of these vehicles is causing concern amongst officials as high season begins and brings in increased in visitors numbers. As a result, these trucks will now undergo random checks, both on exhaust emissions and to check brake safety. Although such checks and inspections usually take place twice a year, authorities agree on the need for more frequent checks in an effort to reduce the city's pollution levels and improve our air quality for both residents and visitors. Chinese I am reporting. Lao. Money talks. Chinese firms sign contracts to buy Laotian goods to the value of 184 million US dollars. Mainly agricultural products, the event was hosted by the Investment Promotion Department. It saw no more and no less than 200 officials and entrepreneurs from both countries seeking trade and investment opportunities. So onwards and upwards in Laos. Johnny out. Johnny, so I am reporting. Myanmar, Yangon, to purchase more high-tech TB diagnostic machines. Yangon National Tuberculosis Program. Said so they are using the Gen Expert and found them very satisfactory. And another four machines are to be purchased, taking it to 22 machines the country tb is curable if detected early and medication is taken properly there is now 180,000 new cases reported yearly 140,000 of these cases are cured but about 40,000 need further medication and medical treatment most take medication for six to eight months and others 11 to 20 months. This is done by the National Tuberculosis Program and other agencies and non-government organisations. So let's hope they get on top of it as this disease affects people if they want to travel to other countries. And once again, it is a disease that can be caught. You can breathe it in. Let's hope they get on top of it. And uh, looks like things are looking up in Myanmar. Johnny out. Lao, Ventian, Foot Panda, the international on-demand food delivery service has now launched in Lao, in Vientiane. With over 300 restaurants on board, the Pink Riders can bring you your order to where you are, home, office, hotel, or that special little place. Johnny out.